Hello, welcome to BBC News. My name is Slobna Ansari and I'm here to discuss about the Coca-Cola Company and address if it's ethical or not. The company consists of more than 500 brands. The businessman, Asa Griggs Candler, brought it outside of Atlanta, making it a worldwide favorite beverage. Although this company states that they treat their workers fairly, Human Rights Watch stated in Cambodia they treat their workers very poorly, even though the Coca-Cola Company stated they give trial priorities to their workers. The workers finally came together to protest against the company. Eight union leaders from the company were killed from protesting. Hundreds of other workers who have joined the protest have either been murdered, kidnapped, or raped. The company denied this act, although the Cambodian workers successfully sued the Coca-Cola company. In India, the company used Caladera's groundwater without the villagers knowing. The company also didn't shut down the bottling plant, which caused pollution and decrease of water levels in local water sources in Caladera. There was a case where in 2004, Human Rights Watch had exposed Coca-Cola for buying from a supplier who uses child labor to plant sugar cane knowingly. Phosphoric acid is used, which is not usually meant to clean your body, but is usually meant to clean your teeth. In India, dust, fungus, and tobacco pouches have shown up in 88% of the Coca-Cola company beverages. Lastly, in the early 20th century, Coca-Cola was prosecuted for using cocaine in their products to make the customers addicted to the product instead of maintaining a good relationship with the customer. Although the company has performed many unethical practices, there's also a lot the company has done to make a huge difference. For instance, they paired up with other organizations who provide filtered drinking water to different parts of Africa. They expanded their earlier goal to recycle or reuse the equivalent of 100% of its plastic bottles to include aluminum cans. By the end of 2011, their dark green rating was 85 out of 100, which is amazing for such a large company. On May 1st, 2011, the company was awarded the Pulitzer Award for Business Ethics. The company stated that they have a local ethics officer in each business. They have also created an ethics and compliance hotline to record any unethical practices that customers have seen. Lastly, they also treat their workers with safety and provide them health insurance according to their website. Now, is the Coca-Cola company ethical or unethical? Although I haven't seen unethical behavior occur with my own eyes, I skimmed through the Coca-Cola case movie and saw some gruesome images and evidence of protests I would not expect to see. According to my research, the company performed unethical practices from the year 1963 to the year 2008. The amount of unethical practices began to decrease significantly from the year of 2010. For instance, India and the Coca-Cola company have a stronger relation now. Although there are still unethical practices that occur, like unsafe ingredients that cause obesity. Even though the company is currently starting to become ethical, judging from an overall perspective, the company has done terrible practices that go against the law. The company also remains top two in the human rights violator list. Unfortunately, I must say this is an unethical company. Thank you for watching.